Hello, my name is Aspen Meekum, and I'll be talking to you about osteosarcoma. Every year, there are a thousand new cases of osteosarcoma. Of these 1,000 cases, 450 individuals will be children and teenagers. Osteosarcoma is a sarcoma, or tumor of the bone. Osteosarcoma is not the only sarcoma of the bone, or the most prevalent bone sarcoma. With the development of osteosarcoma, the bones in the body form a weak bone matrix. Osteoblasts in the unaffected body form strong bones. However, the bone cells affected by the osteosarcoma cause the bones to become weak. This is most likely to occur where the bones are still fast growing and those individuals who have not yet reached the age of slowed bone growth. The tumors of osteosarcoma are most likely to develop in the proximal tibia and distal femur around the knee. Osteosarcoma tumors are the next most likely to occur in the proximal humerus. Osteosarcoma is most likely in those between the ages of 10 to 30 years of age and over 60 years of age, children who are tall for their age, and occurring at an earlier age in females than in males. This indicates a risk of osteosarcoma development during a time period of rapid bone growth in children, or in the case of an individual at the age of over 60, a cause that has had time to develop, for example, long-standing bone disease. Individuals who have had radiation to their bones are also at risk of developing osteosarcoma, in particular, high levels of radiation, not necessarily the lower levels of radiation caused by x-ray, CT scans, or other cancer treatments. Certain bone diseases predispose an individual to the de development of osteosarcoma. Paget's disease affects those older than 50 years of age, and 1% of individuals with Paget's disease will develop a bone sarcoma, which is usually an osteosarcoma. If an individual has hereditary multiple osteochondrocomas and starts to develop them at a young age, it can be impossible to remove them, remove them all by surgery, leaving these osteochondrocomas to have a very small risk of developing into a bone sarcoma and potentially, but less likely, an osteosarcoma. Some inherited cancer syndromes will increase the risk of osteosarcoma in an individual. If a child has hereditary renal blastoma, they have an increased risk of sarcomas in their bone or soft tissue. This includes osteosarcomas. Osteosarcoma and other sarcomas are also at an increased risk of developing in an individual who has leaf frumin t syndrome. The in inherited conditions Ruth Roman Thompson syndrome, Bloom syndrome, Werner syndrome, and diamond black fan anemia has been associated with an increased risk in the development of osteosarcoma. Osteosarcoma causes pain in the side of the tumor. The pain can often increase with activity and can be worse at night. This pain can cause a limp in the individual if the osteosarcoma tumor is located in the leg. Swelling is also a common clinical manifestation of osteosarcoma, occurring up to several weeks after the pain starts. Osteosarcomas very rarely cause bone fracture. However, when bone fractures do occur, they are commonly described as extremities that were sore for several months before suddenly becoming very painful. Osteosarcoma is staged to determine the spread of the cancer throughout the body. The stage of the osteosarcoma will be used to determine the treatment plan of the individual. The basic level of staging is to determine if the osteosarcoma is localized or if it has metastasized. Localized osteosarcomas are then classified as respectable when all the tumor will be able to be removed by surgery or non-respectable. More in-depth staging systems are also used. Osteosarcoma's localized tumor five-year survival rate is in the range of 60 to 80 percent, with respectable osteosarcoma survival rates being higher in the percentage range and chemotherapy also being included in the treatment plan. Osteosarcoma's metastasized tumor five-year survival rate is in the range of 15 to 30 percent, with the percentage increasing to 40 percent if the cancer is only spread into the lungs and not the other internal organs, or if all of the other cancer's tumors can be removed through surgery. Factors that have been linked with a better prognosis include being a younger age, being female, and having the osteosarcoma tumor in the arm or the leg. During the treatment of osteosarcoma, patients should be educated regarding their options for treatments, the proceedings of the treatments, and the side effect of the treatments. Patients may also need education on understanding what osteosarcoma is and what their diagnosis really means for them. Patients may or may not wish to be educated on the expected survival rate of their osteosarcoma, 
However, increased survival rate with treatment compliance should be educated on and understood by the patient and the family. Patients may need help understanding the staging of the osteosarcoma tumor, especially if a more in-depth staging system has been used. After a patient has been treated for osteosarcoma, they will need to be educated on keeping their medical records where they will be accessible to them, especially in the instance of changing doctors. Patients will need to be educated on the necessity of scheduling and attending following-up appointments. Patients can also have poor effects in their health from the osteosarcoma treatment and should be educated on this. Patients may have social and emotional issues because of the osteosarcoma treatment. Patients may have trouble thoughts related to perceived future problems or altered physical appearance. Could also be the target of bullying or discrimination. Patients may need help establishing an emotional support system usually found in friends or family. Treatment of osteosarcoma has progressed from amputation to the most common and successful treatment of chemotherapy and surgical removal of the tumor. In some cases, radiation therapy is used to treat osteosarcoma. Clinical trials are one of the best ways to get access to the latest medication and cancer treatments, and sometimes the only way. Unfortunately, all of these treatments can have side effects. However, options are available to help take care of the side effects through medicine and other means. Other treatments of osteosarcoma can include less traditional methods of vitamins, herbs, certain diets, massage, acupuncture, etc. Though the use of these treatments is not proven to help cure osteosarcoma and can be dangerous for the individual. Pause the video to read and answer the Stinklax question. Pause the video to read the rationale. Pause the video to read and answer the Stinklax question. Pause the video to read this rationale. These are my references and thank you for watching.